A family member of Clonda Ritchie is suing the owners of the dogs that police say mauled her to death. It's one of our most clicked on stories at WDTN.com. Marsha Bonhart is asking questions about the lawsuit tonight. That legal action is filed by the administrator of Clonda Ritchie's estate. It claims wrongful death against Andrew Nason and Julie Custer. We reached out to a local attorney to get some answers about the case. The suit claims wrongful death, the result of a dog mauling by pets owned by Julie Custer and Andrew Nason when they lived here on East Bruce next door to Clonda Ritchie. The house once occupied by the defendants has since burned. The legal action asks for damages in the amount of at least $25,000. The number $25,000 is used in almost every complaint that is filed for either personal injury or for wrongful death because it establishes the jurisdictional amount for the common police court. The request basically is to get the matter before the court. After discovery, the amount of damage requested could be higher. As a plaintiff's lawyer, you don't want to commit yourself to a number too early until and unless you have the opportunity to go through the discovery process, do your due diligence, talk to all the experts. And if liability is proven. If liability is proven, or usually the case is, there is some sort of insurance uh, by someone, either homeowner's insurance, renter's insurance, a landlord may have uh, liability insurance. There could be premises liability depending on the contract of insurance and the landlord. That information is usually available in the lease agreement. For activities that the tenant engages in, that becomes kind of a tricky question as to uh, where does that liability extend to the landlord to where it becomes a, an issue regarding premises safety? So is there any insurance that would not be liable absolutely at all? Well, it all depends on how a contract reads who was obligated to protect against an event, in this case, a dog attack. We'll continue to keep you posted on this lawsuit. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.